How's it going everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my Military Bowl recap video. This game was between San Jose State and Bowling Green in San Jose State, which is ranked 24th in the country. First time ever being ranked in uh, the bowl, the poll era. They won 29-20. Had to come back in this game. Had to have a big fourth quarter, but won this game 29-20. Uh, their quarterback, uh, he, um, David Bowles, he set a record, a bowl record, and it was like 395 passing yards, uh, 33 of 43, 395 yards, two touchdowns, and uh, they could, it's a really good thing that he had a great game through the air because, I mean, they had negative rushing yards, I believe. It was uh, negative 17 rushing yards. It, their, their biggest run of the game was that last first down that they had. And Bowling Green, they played a heck of a game. They're a young team, and they made mistakes, especially that last time where the uh, where Chris Gallon uh, had that nice catch. But then when he gets knocked out of bounds after he's fighting for extra yardage, he throws the hel the ball at the defender's helmet and a 15 yard penalty. And he seemed uh, very frustrated and about got into it with uh, his teammates. But I mean, you can't do that. He was only a redshirt freshman, so. Uh, but you can't make excuses, but, I mean, sometimes younger guys make mistakes like that. And it's just uh, very unfortunate that it was in that type of fashion, that with all the implications of the bowl game. Uh, they actually had a chance to come back there. They, uh, I mean, it was slim chances, but they had chances, and that definitely hurt their chances. But, uh, I mean, they played good. They couldn't really stop David Foles or, uh, too much, but... They did. They played great rush defense, and uh, they got. It was very unfortunate when they're trying to come back the the drive. Their only turnover of the game when uh, their quarterback got hit, flying sided, and he fumbled the ball. San Jose State picked it up and ended up scoring that drive, taking the lead. And uh, I still think that fumble by San Jose State's running back was a fumble. But I mean, I understand that they didn't. Sorry, I understand that they didn't uh, overturn that call because it wasn't clear evidence. But I mean. You can tell that it was he was down, or the um he fumbled the ball before he was down. But I mean, like I said, you have to be 100% certain, and I guess you could say without the clear picture of it that you weren't 100% certain. So that's kind of unfortunate for Bowling Green fans. But I mean, a hard-fought game of both teams. San Jose State comes out on top. Uh, had to fight through that controversy of their of their head coach leaving for Colorado. And it's been known that either their offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator, or maybe even both, will be leaving the San Jose State laugh, joining their head coach, McIntyre, at Colorado. So, see how that goes. But final stats of the game, uh, San Jose State, 395, 378 total yards. Bowling Green, 260. San Jose State, 395 yards to the air. Bowling Green, 159. Uh, like I said, negative 17 rushing yards for San Jose State, over 100 for Bowling Green. Uh, Pettigrew had a pretty nice game, but, uh, I mean, for the most part, except from the yardage, uh, standpoint, the game was pretty even. San Jose State only converted 3 out of 13 third downs, Bowling Green 7 to 13, but, I mean, uh, when you pass the ball, good things happen, you don't turn the ball over, good things happen, that's how why San Jose State came out on top, and they had a few lucky breaks towards the end, but, like I said, John Pettigrew had a pretty good game, 7 carries, 59 yards and touchdown, averaging 8 point yards per carry. I remember I had a dynasty with Bowling Green on NCA, and uh, Pettigrew was a very good running back, so that's how I, I know that guy. And I do know that Chris Gallon, the wide receiver for uh, Bowling Green, is a very talented young receiver, but I mean, he's the one that made that mistake on that penalty lately, late in the game. But I mean, he's young, he's going to learn from this mistake. I'm sure the coaches are going to give him heck about it. But I mean,. That's, it is what it is. He made a mistake and you gotta move on from it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day guys. And uh, let me know what you thought of this bowl game in the comments below. I mean it was a, it was a pretty nice bowl game. Uh, San Jose State and Bowling Green might not be the most attractive programs for a viewer to watch. But if you watched it let me know what you thought. Good game. Uh, subscribe to me. I gotta make the recaps of the games coming up which is Cincinnati and Duke. And the uh, Hunger Bowl. Um, UCLA and uh, whoever they're playing, who is it, UCLA, and I'll figure out in a minute, I can't think right now, but thank you guys for watching, like I said, uh, comment below what you thought of the game, subscribe so you can see my recaps of all the bowl games, I'm doing my best to recap every single bowl game, I've been doing that ever since like the second game, I didn't do the first two, I hadn't decided to do this yet, but I am doing it now, so I gotta make two more videos the rest of the night, 
it's kind of difficult, but I mean, I'll do it. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day, and I hope you're enjoying your football and enjoying your Christmas break. See you later.